first meeting with the immortal Babaji. In the year 1967, I was on my quest to meet the great presence called Shiv Gorakusha Babaji. People call him by many names, but he is ever the same, the visible, invisible savior of our humanity. I made my way up from the holy confluence of Buddha Prayag to the sacred city of Badrinath, partly by foot and partly hitchhiking. Along the way, as I walked amidst the sylvan surroundings of the pines, the breeze wafted by, and I recalled past life memories of my yogic endeavors in the Himalayas. The aroma of the pine cones and berries crushed under my feet as I walked along unbeaten trails. My sojourn was so intoxicating that I couldn't contain my nostalgia. So was transferred to a more expansive sense of unity with nature. The evening sunsets of many hues of gold, crimson, and green came, making the trees roll their lengthening shadows on the meadows. These were followed by the morning sun, dazzling the Arakanda River. Greet me as I woke up. The whole ambience was a meditation. I myself was a meditation. And as I sat in deep love with Babaji, a fresh mountain breeze blew through me, bringing its inspiring message that the soul is in mortal and the body a boat to ferry us across to this realization. My mind lost its reason in a stream of intuition as I scribbled up to my jaw. Deja vu. In wooded valleys, berries crushed. The flavor of the mystic must. Within me did old memories rise, devotions to the sunset skies.
Thank you.